बिस्मिल्लाम वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न मैथ विथ सैयद अली वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर टॉपिक फॉर द ग्रेड एट नंबर पैटर्न राइट सो हेयर द पैटर्न इज और द क्वेश्चन इज कंप्लीट द चार्ट एंड द ग्राफ सो दिस इज द चार्ट विच वी हैव टू कंप्लीट हेयर वी हैव फिगर नंबर वन figure number 2 figure number 3 figure number 4 and we have to count the number of sticks to complete this chart so how many sticks are there in figure number 1 3 how many sticks are there in figure number 2 6 figure number 3 we have 9 sticks <coughs> figure number 4 Yes, twelve, and so on and so forth. Figure number five, maybe fifteen. We don't draw it, but we know that is going by three. Three plus three is six. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus three is twelve. Twelve plus three is fifteen, and so and so forth. And k, we will see that how many we can have in k. That means we have to find out the nth number, nth term. because we have to find out how many sticks are there in 30th figure 30th figure right so 30th figure we need to find out k means nth or k is the same term and any variable you can put and we know that now this sequence is 3 6 9 12 15 etc 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 to the kth term or not nth term right you can use any variable Okay, so what is a one? A one is the first term, which is three, and what is common difference? Again, three. Six minus three is three. Nine minus six is three. So whenever you subtract the first term from the second, or second term from the third, and so on and so forth, you have the same common difference, right? So this uh, sequence or number pattern. is increasing by 3 so you can say that is start with 3 and get and add 3 to get the next term right and we have the formula we, which is nth term can be calculated as a1 plus n minus 1 times d here we don't have n so if we want to put k it's okay we can put k so kth term will be equals to k minus 1 into d So, a one is three. A one is three. K minus one times d is three, and you open it up. Three plus three k. Three times one is three, which is minus three, right? So you can see here that plus three and minus three get cancelled. So you are left with only three k. So that means if you want to find out any term, let's say kth term. So kth term will be equals to three k. So here I can put three k. That is my number of the sticks, right? So if you have the term number, you just have to multiply with the three. So figure number one, three times one is three. Figure number two, three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Three times four. So it's going by three k, where k is the figure number, where k is the figure number so to find out number of the sticks you need to multiply figure number by 3 so 3k is your kth term so what will be the 30th term so you can say that okay the 30th term will be equals to 3 times 30 so 30th term will be equals to 3 times 30 is 90 so i have here fill up my chart and question was complete the chart and the graph now we come to the second part that we have to draw a graph so we understand here that okay we count the number of the sticks and then we make a sequence or number pattern number pattern is 3 6 9 12 15 15. and then we have to find out a algebraic expression an algebraic expression and we have the formula for that So first term is three, 
and the common difference when you subtract first term from the second or second from the third, you have the same common difference. If you have the same common difference, you can apply this formula, which is called arithmetic sequence. So a k is equals to a one plus k minus one into d because we need to find out kth term. If he says nth term, so we put n, right? So I replace n with k. So my kth term will be a one three plus k minus one times d, which is again three. You open up the bracket. Three times k is three k. Three minus three times minus one is minus three, which cancels each other out, and we are left with a k is equals to three k. So I write kth term is equals to three k. Now what is next in the chart? I have to find out the value of thirtieth term. So I figure it out. Just that I have to replace k with thirty. 30 times 3. So any number, any figure number you can find out, right? By Because you have the journal expression, journal algebraic expression for this sequence or number pattern. What the number pattern is? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc, etc, etc. Now we come to the graph and we see how we can uh, substitute the values. So on the y-axis, this is your y-axis, here is number of the sticks, right? And here is figure number. So what figure number we are talking about? Figure number one. Figure number one is three. So one, two, three. This is my figure number one, right? So one is three, three number of the sticks, right? Figure number two, I have six number of the sticks. So I have six number of the sticks for figure number two. For figure number three, how many sticks I have? Nine, so I am just behind 10, right? So this is my figure number three. Figure number four, figure number four is, you can read here, 12. So 12 is, figure number four is 12, right? Figure number five is 15. Figure number five is 15. So figure number five comes here, as 15, right? So in this way, we draw all the points and we can make the straight line. I can see that it is a straight line. So I draw this line here for you. Good. So this is what we draw on the graph. Uh, number of the sticks on the y-axis and figure number on the x-axis. We have a straight line. So I can repeat this. This is all about number pattern. And number pattern is we have to figure out in this question, figure number one consists of three sticks, figure number two, six sticks, figure number three, nine sticks, figure number four, 12 sticks. So we make the sequence three, six, nine, 12, 15, etc., 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 and k, because in the chart I have to put my k value. K can be any alphabet, right? Nth term, kth term. If you substitute in the formula, we do it for nth term. Now we have kth term. So I replace n with k. I replace n with k. So I have a general algebraic expression when I simplify that. A k is equals to 3 k. So that means if you want to find out any figure number, that how many sticks are there in that figure number, you just have to multiply that figure number with three. Therefore, 30th figure number will be having 30 times three, 90 sticks, right? In this way, we can calculate any number of the figure that how many number of the sticks are there in that figure number. Hope you like the video, subscribe to my channel, you can email me your questions at s underscore shahid underscore ali at hotmail.com. I can write it for you here on the top of the board. So s underscore s h a h i d underscore ali a l i at hotmail.com. You can send your questions to s underscore shahid underscore ali at hotmail.com. Subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button to receive the next video.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग